What is up, Remodelites? It is Dave with Remodel Media, and in this episode of Quick Tip Tuesday, we're going to be diving into some of your comments and questions. So let's fast forward through the intro. All right, so the first comment comes from Little Zazencrack. Love the name. Uh, dang, you got an intro and everything. Remodel Media changed my life. Thank you so much. That's not a question, but I'll address it anyway. First, thanks for the love. I appreciate it. Keep those comments coming. The second thing I'll say is the intro was actually really easy to make. I went to renderforest.com. I've got a link in the description below. If you click on it, you can start creating an intro or short video, animated video of your own for free. And you will only pay money if you actually want to download the finished product if you're happy with it. You can have some fun, fiddle around, change it, and make it your own. So go ahead and click the link in the description below, remodelmedia.tv forward slash render forest. And you can actually get started for free. Like I said, it was really easy to make. I think this intro cost me like maybe like 10 or $20. It was not, it wasn't an extravagant purchase, but it fit the bill just right. On to more serious questions. Freddy Slaughter asks, how does Dekton compare to granite? Another great question. So several episodes back, I did an episode highlighting lots of different countertops, and I went through a lot of them very quickly. So I apologize if this point didn't quite come across right on the video. Granite is a, a natural stone. And like most natural stones, granite is porous, and no two pieces look exactly alike, although you can get pretty close. Uh, each piece is truly unique, and it comes out of the ground, it gets mined and polished and honed and all these things. And that's how granite is made. Uh, Dekton, however, is a man-made product. They take uh, some quartz and some porcelain and some resin and they grind it up and they pour it into a mold and it becomes a very dense product. Now, that is the what I'll call the dictionary definition of the two materials. The practical use comes down to granite. Again, natural stone, porous. It can stain. You can unstain it, uh, but it's a bit of a process. However, truly unique in its beauty. Dekton, you have plenty of pieces that look exactly alike. And there's remarkable consistency from one slab to the next. So with Dekton, it is incredibly dense and incredibly difficult to scratch or chip. Uh, I've seen uh, chefs just to play around accidentally uh, hit the Dekton with a blowtorch while they're making creme brulee just to freak people out uh, because it's an incredibly dense material. And if you want to learn more about what Dekton is doing, I'll go ahead and put a, a link uh, in the description below. And if you're catching it on YouTube, I'll put a little link on the card up here. So you can watch my visit to the Dekton booth, uh, or specifically the Cosentino booth at KBiz this year. Uh, the Kitchen and Bath Industry Show, where we went over some of the new products coming out from Dekton. So I hope that answers your question, Freddie. And thanks for the comments. Thanks for the love. Keep them coming, and I'll catch you in the next one.